We thank God for your life. We thank God for protecting you. We thank God for all he's doing for all of us. Today we are going to talk about a very particular substance that I will suggest that we pay attention to it. Why? Because it's very important if we want to preserve health. Very important. If we are really willing to preserve our health. So the name of uh, this molecule is TA65. Cycloastragulum. It's a kind of, it helps a lot to protect the telomere of your chromosome. So what is a telomere? You see, we, our chromosome, at the end of the chromosome, we call it the tail. The tail of the chromosome have a specific information, of course, from the DNA, for the replication. We know that our body recycles very, very often. It depends on the organ. The skin normally recycles every six to eight weeks. Your liver takes a couple of three or three, two months. Two, three months depends on the research you have your hands on. Your bone is the harder part to regenerate. Take up to three years, sometimes four. It depends how much is the nutrient you are, you know, put it in. And then the weather, if you have enough sun, a lot of diet helps a lot to regenerate the bone faster and assimilate all the vitamin D that's needed. So every organ in your body recycles. The body you have right now is not the same thing you have 10 years ago. What you have now as a body is a 100% brand new material. The why we still be the same person with the same shape, same eye, same everything, same. We have the genetic information stored in our DNA, and the DNA is in your chromosome. So every division of the cell or every multiplication of the cells have to do with the shortening of your telomere to the point where when you don't have no more telomere, then you cannot reproduce cells, then you cannot live. So if you want to live longer, we need to protect our telomere shortening. Now, there's a specific enzyme that helps your telomere called telomerase. Telomerase. Well, I don't even pronounce it with telomerase. It's always telomerase. It's a specific enzyme that is really protect and help a lot of function of your telomere. So this molecule of TA65 is a specific specific functional telomerase. It helps to protect your telomere. So anything that has to do with your telomere is a good anti-aging. It does, does not only make you look good, but it definitely protects your inside. It gives you the, the young or the youth of health from the level of your DNA. Many people are taking some good things, some good care for themselves. People do the face massage, face lift up. They do a lot of stuff, a lot of care that they make, them, make them look very young. They might look very young, but their DNA is very old. If they are not protecting the telomere. The telomere. So if you want a good health, you need to be taken constantly, especially if you are uh, 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 you are, your age is uh, above 30. You are 30 plus. You have to be drinking or taking things that should protect your telomere. Things that are rich in antioxidants. Okay, because aging is oxidation. Okay. More than this, after the year theory, we are losing our collagen 1% every year. So our telomere shortening, our colle uh, um, collagen, we are losing collagen in, your, in our skin and every part. 
So from the year 30, when you are 30 year old plus, if you don't maintain yourself very well, you are going to age very fast. Better you maintain, you can go to 100, 125, you can go far if you can really be aware of what are you using as a material to rebuild your body. Now, the main thing your, your chromosome, your DNA need, you need specific minerals. You need very good amino acids, and then you need a good carbohydrate. Then you're going to need um, some good fat to help that. The main ingredient is good amino acids, good minerals, and good carbohydrates. Plus the quality of lifestyle, the kind of food, everything. So what is the point? Let's say somebody is sick and he's giving maybe a year to live, for example. That means from now to a year, the body will try to replace dead cells, all of these things, to the point where you will no longer have enough length of telomere to be able to replace cells, to help to reproduce or multiply or recycle the body. So if you can protect your telomere, you can easily extend the lifespan of that person. For example, the Siberian, they live easily to 100, from 100 to 120, very easily. Their neighboring population, they live to 60, 70. So, is a big gap. And people start questioning, then scientists start asking, how come they live in the same environment, same weather, same food? Why their lifespan is way beyond the lifespan of the surrounding population? So they find out they drink sugar every day. If that is their coffee. So they did a study on the sugar and they find out the sugar have antioxidant called SOD, and the SOD increase a lot your glutathione, and glutathione is uh, your number one antioxidant in your in your body. So you are slowing down the oxidation of your body, and we did explain this in the past already. Oxidation means breaking down. So definitely. The sugar is helping a lot to protect your telomere. And I would suggest to people who are listening, listen to Dr. All Sears. All Sears. His program on anti-aging with the telomeras. He has a very, very good research, proven, working. That listen to it and read the article, listen to his video, you are going to be amazed. Because today we, especially we, many people who are willing to be health conscious, we just limit everything to eating good, eating raw, and we try to keep the eight law, and we think it's enough. It's not. Why? Because we are in a world where most of the things are not real. Your organic food, you don't know how organic is that. You don't have no idea. So it's important for us to understand that the quality of whatever we are eating is not real. If you live in a country with a good soil, you grow your own food or most of your food, then you are safe enough. But in this country, even the organic food, if they have to ship it from California to New York, my goodness, it has to go through a lot of process. They put in uh, this truck with a gas chamber to keep the things fresh. These are toxins. They spread this thing to keep it fresh. So we always taking something. So more than living good, let us be aware that our food is extremely deficient. So we need some specific 
supplement some specific nutrients to keep up with us. If we are living on wild vegetables, then we are great because we are going to get most of the mineral that you can get easily somewhere. And in the past, I, we talk about the, how important we need to have the herb part of our diet. Not just to have a herbal tea or that, but you need to look at your herbal tea as a meal, like something that is part of your diet. Why? If we take any bark from most of these wild trees or whatever, let's say you take the white oak bark, for example. The white oak, the root of the white oak goes, I don't know how many feet deep in the soil, maybe 20. So the, the, the root going to pick up from there mineral and nutrients that you are not going to find, you will never find in the surface of the soil. So most of the food we eat is from the, the surface of the soil. And the surface of the soil has always been sprayed with these chemicals, with a herbicide, with a roundup, with all of these things. And more than that, the rain is draining the mineral from the surface of the soil deep down into the soil. So the soil is poor, and then we do a very poor agriculture, and then to preserve things, they have to spray it. So we are not very safe. That's why we need some of the very potent things if we want to prevent health with uh, much, much more consciousness. That is the reason why we have studied things like this. So if you want to protect your health, I would really recommend you to check this TA65. It's a little bit expensive. If somebody is really sick, needs to recover or stuff like that, it's the best thing to use. Plus shaga, plus anything that is helping you to build a very good, you know, uh, uh, immune system, protect your telomere, um, help a lot with your collagen, help a lot with uh, um, uh, your antioxidant, and you bring everything up to normal. You balance your hormone, your enzyme, and you have a good mood. You are happy. You live well. You're satisfied with life. You are great. You as always being grateful toward God and toward your family members, spouse, and children, the way we carry life, the way we are conscious of our quality of life, the way we invest time, money, energy into our well-being, that's how you will get the result of a good health. It does not happen by chance. So the TA65 is a very good supplement to protect your telomere and to slow down your aging big time. It can easily add 20 years to your life. If you add all of that, you, you have a good lifestyle, good diet, taking good things, chaga and other stuff, you can know you are on a very good road. Okay? So our route of health, it requires a lot of discipline, a lot of dedication, a lot of investment. So for today, we are introduced to the TA65 as a very good telomerase to protect the telomere of your chromosome and to slow down your aging and increase your lifespan. So if you have any question about these things, we can take it. And before we get to the question, there is uh, some questioning about the work of the TA65 that it helps to produce a lot of material to protect the body. It helps your chromosome of your healthy cells, but not the cancerous cells. Why do we say that? Because if something can prolong the life of the cell, let's say you are a cancer patient, and cancer is a cell, it's a normal cell that lose control, okay? The DNA and the RNA messenger are not respecting the normal way of multiplication. They multiply over the normal dictate from the DNA. That's why the cancer cell function. 
So if you will give something that will protect the tumor and keep it long, so it seems like you might make the cancer cells pro, uh, uh, multiply and live long in your body. So they did the research and proved that no, no, no. This specific TA65 does not help the cancer cell to live long. They help the normal cell, healthy cells to really, really multiply, live long, and protect the DNA of the normal cell, not of the cancerous cells. So it's a very important information right there because someone can be afraid because I have cancer. Oh, I can't take TA65 because it might keep me cancer for, you know, cancerous for life. No. The research proved it. Everything proved that it's completely the opposite. So thank you very much for listening. Now we are going to be opening to the question and the comment section. Okay. Uh, based on what you just mentioned about the Siberian, you mentioned the Siberian people, right? That yeah. Were, yeah. How do they supplement their? Uh, what what is what was the reason why they live longer? Because they drink shaga every day. They they drink what? Shaga. Shaga is the C H A. Uh, J A no G A sorry C H A G A Shaga that's what they drink they drink like religiously daily just like that so and the research proved that Shaga have a high dose of uh, S O D super oxide dismissase it also helps the body a lot to produce more than 400 percent of glutathione in the body so it slow down aging very 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 well. And in many cancer situations, you use mm-hmm. chaga, it works very well. Lately, I traveled, went to Idaho, and it was a, uh, was a woman there. The family came in with a, a wife, have a cancer spray in a two um, breasts. They were having been on a program for more than four months. And I tell them to do chaga overdose. And then add some of the chaga to the pulses they put on the breast taking Oregon oil one ounce a day, taking a black seed and change her diet completely, put all the diet, most of the she's going to eat high dose of sprout seed because sprout gives you a lot of enzyme into your system to, to stop breaking down these bad things. They do the program very well in two months, the cancer came out. Everything now, they're like, wow. And also, they're also taking a lot of marine fiber plants and so if you can be using the best herb, if you are not bringing a whole nutrition to the body, you cannot heal the body. It's not possible. Yeah. Okay. So, <clears throat> okay. Well, thank you. Um, we did a, We always did a talk about shaga in other other uh, things. You might ask this. Uh, you go on the line. Okay. You will find a section on shaga and listen to it. You can also Google the shaga. There's a doctor, his name is Dr. Ingram, Kath Ingram. So he's a very good one concerning the shaga. He did a whole research on it, write a book on it. So it's very good to be informed on that. We can really preserve and prevent disease. It's just about being conscious and be responsible and take action. Shaga helps you to balance your hormones a lot. Shaga it help you with your stress big time. Help with the memory. It does a lot of stuff, a lot. It's an overload of melanin. You know, shaga is such a great stuff. Okay, thank you. Mm-hmm. I'll read up about it now. And that was oh. Doctor uh, Doctor Ingram. You also mentioned the name of another doctor. Uh, who studied the, uh, was that the same thing on the TA-65? Is that the same thing? 
No, there are many doctors. You can just Google on the, uh, on the, you can see that there are many, many speaking about. Mm -hmm. I did speak about Dr. Wall Spears. He have a formula of, uh, telomerase enzyme specially for, to protect your telomere. But I don't think it was, it's not necessarily the TA65, but you have a, there are many forms of, um, of telomerase. But this one, I want to mention that it's an extract from uh, various species of um, astragalus. We know astragalus, right? So they combine many, many species of astragalus combined, and they extract from that. That's why we put a lot of astragalus in. If we're making the, what we call um, uh, herbal chemo, you put astragalus in it. Okay. Now you can do much more by mixing many variety of astragalus. And if you know how to do herbal extract, there are different way of doing it. Do the tincture way, and then different way, and then other extract. And then you add activator. That's gonna call you for if you have a real knowledge on how to deal with the herbs. You know how you can add some activator to it. How you can add things that will open the cell membrane. So it depends. So. If you are putting astragalus in your daily tea, for sure you are getting some kind of TA65. But I want us to know it's not just from one variety. There are many varieties combined. So you can research on this, find it, or this thing and stuff, make your own thing home. You can do that. There are also many fear companies that really respect uh, the medicine and do a very good job by doing a, a very good extraction and very condition for, you know, for use. If you can afford it, afford it. But it's exp expensive, very expensive. But it's why it's really worth the price. Anyone else? Question or comment, you can press star six to unmute yourself, please. Hi, Pastor. I was looking at a video. Um, last night after I got the topic and it, um, it was talking about the, a study that was published in Lancet Oncology on September 17th. 2013, um, revealing the first ever data showing lifestyle changes have the potential to reverse aging on a cellular level. Now, you don't normally hear that from the, um, you know, the, the medical people. And Dr. Dean Ornish and colleagues at the Preventative Medicine Research Institute and the University of California, San Francisco found that comprehensive lifestyle changes may increase the length of the telomeres, uh, an indication of biological age over time. Um, so he was saying that, and the video, I have the video in the on YouTube on the channel, so anybody can go in. You can go and, and check the channel and you'll see the video. Um, It says the tel he said when they did the study, the studies found that telomeres got longer by 10% in the groups that made lifestyle changes and shorter by 3% in the control group. Uh, they also found that the more people change their lifestyle, their telomeres got longer at any age. Um, so I found that that was really good because this is what we actually preach. And he said they, they, there are no specific lifestyle changes for any specific disease. He said that the same lifestyle changes actually um, work for re reversing or lengthening the telomere at any age. Um, some of the lifestyle changes, as we know, he said, 
would be whole, um, what we eat, whole food, low-fat, plant, plant-based diet, moderate exercise, um, stress management techniques, and social support and love and intimacy. Um, but one thing that he mentioned uh, in stress management techniques, he said yoga and meditation. Now, uh, I know we don't actually believe in yoga and meditation, even though I have the video on my site. Um, we have to know what we believe in. So even if I might post a video, it's just for the information that we can gain, the inform take the information that is good for us and, you know, extract what is not, what we know for sure that is not good. But Pastor, can you give some more insight on that and also on the yoga and meditation? I don't understand your question. No, based on the research that he was giving, I don't know if you want to add anything to what he said um, concerning the research that they did in, um, as I just explained what what he what they found in their research. The video is lifestyle changes may lengthen your telomere. So that's basically what they were discussing. And I was just saying that he was saying that lifestyle changes actually in, um, increase or, or help your telomeres to get longer, which helps to lengthen your life. But definitely, and um, I was talking about that previously. Yeah, uh, I know. You don't, but... you don't take just the 65 mm -hmm. that um, you eat well because your chromosome gonna need a good good minerals, good amino acids. And your amino acids depend on the quality of your protein you're consuming and how much quality of your hydrochloric acid you have to break it down to amino acid. Otherwise, you need to take some enzyme supplement. When it comes to yoga, we don't believe in yoga. And many advances by biting into yoga thing is very dangerous. The beginning of yoga is very innocent. But more you get into it, when it comes to emptying your mind, it's not biblical. We must have the mind of Christ. It's a mind of obedience to God. And then the Holy Spirit comes in, will give us peace, joy, all of these things we need. So there's just a simple part of emptying our mind to relax. You are exposed to a lot because the enemy always seeking for the control of our mind. So yoga have a deep spiritual connection. And we must know yoga is coming from this Eastern religion, the the Buddhism, the, the all of the ism from there. So yoga is going to Adventist school, Adventist this. We should not be into these things. However, Christian can find a better way of meditation, Christian meditation. You can read these things in uh, the Spirit in the Bible. The Bible says to Psalm chapter 1, verse 1, to, to verse 3, tell us to meditate on the Word of God day and night. It doesn't say to empty your mind and go in yoga. If you read... Um, uh, Council on Health, page 222, paragraph 2, he said, if we meditate on the love of God, guess what? He's going to free us from selfishness. And selfishness is our real problem. Meditation on the love of God is the key. For example, if you wake up in the morning, the first thing you should do before you even look at the sign, look at the, your, your phone, check anything, be grateful. That is the key. Praise God to wake up healthy. Even wake up alive because you might not wake up. You know, and but you can't wake up dead for sure, thank God. And be grateful. You have two feet, somebody in a wheelchair, if you wish you can never have one feet. You have two eyes. Someone's blind if you can just have one eye. You know, you can walk by yourself. We have a lot to be grateful for. But unfortunately, we have been educated to complain. 
and worry for things we don't have, sometimes things we can never have. So when we fill up the life with so much stress, the research proved that 90%, 90% of disease are linked to stress. So when your stress level is high, that's why we talk about this uh, nitric oxide to help you a lot to control these things. So controlling our stress life, if the married people should have a very, very uh, good couple life, good intimacy. All of this in participate for, your, for, for how long you're going to live. The hormone you release in your brain, in your body, if you have a good intimacy, all of these things. So life is a whole, good, a whole package. How might we trust God? That's how God gives us the Sabbath. The Sabbath, we don't think about our problem. We think about our Creator, His love, how much He loves us. How much He loves us until giving His life for us. How much He provides for our daily need. How much the angels are protecting us. And more than this, we also project into the future and behold the thing He has reserved for us. We can say Paul saying that... Um, He's so happy today because the crown of eternal life is reserved for him. That's great. Even Jesus told the disciples, rejoice because your name is written in the book of life. So Christians have a better way of mind relaxation than the world. The world relies on yoga and meditation. We rely on the love of God, gratitude, and meditation on the word of God and the love of God. And the good news is, when you are meditating on God's love, His Spirit is going to fill you up. It will definitely help you. So, I think the point you are making is very important. We need to learn the Christian way. Singing, for example. Instead of having this violent, violent moving thing in our house, let us put Christian music, things we like to sing. For example, counting God's blessings. Put the music there and start counting his blessings and sing the song. Make your atmosphere happy. So all of that is part. That's the food for the spirit. Because we are not only flesh. You know, it's a very, very spiritual part of our being. So when it comes to anti-aging or a good life, we have a good food, good supplementation because our food is poor, good thinking, some of us, we call it offense for everything. If you live like that, you are constantly overloading your body with adrenaline. And that will always raise your heart, heart beat and it's always mixing up your adrenal glands. It's a big trouble. If we learn to forgive like Christ, we're going to live long. We're going to live healthier. You will see that anytime we get angry, our body starts shaking. Our temperature, the body temperature raises. Our hearts are beating faster. So it's a whole package, whole package, whole package. Eat well, live well, be happy, be grateful, exercise, sleep well, you know, drink well, clean up your body every week. If you have, for, for those who would like to look young, you can do massage to your face, okay? Do the massage, and there are many, many things today to even reduce wrinkles because your face is made of muscle. Any muscle you start Using, it gets torn up, becomes stronger. It's not just the arm. It's not just the arm and the leg. Every muscle, every single muscle in your body, you work on it, it gets tonified. So Japanese and Chinese, they know very well, it's part of their culture, to massage the face. That's why Japanese women, they don't age fast, because they know all the way how to be massaging the face muscles. So you get tonified, you don't have a quick wrinkle like that, you know? So it's about education. Thank you so much for linking this to, to the lifestyle because it's very important for us to understand. It's not just about taking a good supplement. It's about having a whole brand new package of health according to God's will and then trusting God 100%. Thank you very much for your comments. Anyone else? Yes, I just wanted to... Okay, go ahead. Yes, um, I I would like to ask Pastor if you could please just expound a little bit more on PA65. Um, I haven't been really able to listen 100 percent. I know you were talking about it, but I missed some of it. Um, so if you could just take a minute and please um, explain what is 
PA65. One more time for me, please. Thank you. Is this Dianic? No, this is Domingo. Okay. Well, PA65 is an extract from astragalus. Astragalus is a herb. That herb have a different variety. So what they did, they combined various varieties of astragalus, and then they control the extract of the TA65. And it's, a, it's very specifically there to function as a telo, telomerase. Telomerase is a special enzyme that helps to protect your telomere. And what is the telomere? Telomere is at the tail of your chromosome. So what telomere, telomere has to do with your age? Our body recycles. Every organ of our body recycles. Women should have, know that very well than men. We recycle every single organ in our body. Your skin recycles, your bone recycles, your liver recycles. So the body you have right now is not the same as you have 10 years ago. You have All you have now is new material. If why you still be the same person is because you have generic information in your DNA that is telling to the body to regenerate things exactly according to the same copy so you don't make a new person looking different. So in the cell division or in the this recycling, cells have to be multiplied or divided. And the cell division is the shortening the length of your telomere. So when this comes to the end where the cell cannot multiply anymore, then you have to die. It is a must. So you want to live longer, then you need to find something to slow down your telomere shortening. Now, there are medicine and good lifestyle that can help you a little bit to increase the length of your telomere. So TA65 is one of the great agents that will help your telomere to repair, to, to stop aging, to stop shortening, and help you a lot. So to that, we are asking to add sugar and many other things that help for longevity, lifestyle, our the eighth law of health, the way we think, the way we trust God, exercise, and everything. Do you understand now? Yes, thank you. Yes, I do. Yeah, so it's a telomerase. It's a kind of telomerase very effective. And we use it Can in you spell that word, telomerase? Can you spell that for yeah. me, telomerase? T L E M. E R A S E telomerase. Okay, thank you. I might pronounce that maybe it should be telomerase, but I think it's telomerase. For so those who don't know, I speak French. That's what some some have accent problem. <laughs> and telomeres is spelled T E L T L E M E R E S. T E L E M E R E S. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Pastor. Concerning um, the the video that I mentioned, I just want people to know that when they go on the YouTube channel, when I post these videos to YouTube uh, um, with the the classes, you can just subscribe to the channel and. Every time I post a new class, ensure you click the subscribe and click the notification bell. So every time I send a new class, because I'm sending the classes from last year, I already sent class one, two, three, and four. No, I'm going to send four today. So I sent three just now to the to um, WhatsApp, and also I sent it to Facebook groups, if you're in the group. If you're not in the group, you can text your number or your email and we'll add you to the group. Uh, so what I'm trying to say, we have a playlist. I named the playlist 
Med Medication Medical Missionary School. If you go into that playlist, it has all the classes that I uploaded so far from last year and from this year. I also add videos that Pastor would send to me concerning the class. So if we did anything on nutrition, we have a video after the, the nutrition class. We have a video on nutrition and behavior by Dr. Russell Blaylock. And we have something on gluten by Dr. Pearl Mutter. Um, the medication class number two, epigenetics, we have a video by Bruce Lipton on epigenetics. So each class you have other videos that will give you information from doctors who actually do these studies on the same thing. So I mentioned the yoga and the um, meditation to let you know that I added that video to the medical missionary playlist but I just wanted you guys to know that we don't agree with yoga and this, you know, meditation and, and empty in your mind as Pastor explained just now. So not because I post something to the group, it means that we believe in everything. We should know as a seventh Adventist well, what we believe. And if you post the videos to your friends or you share them, you should at least put the disclaimer at the bottom, as I'm giving you now, that we don't believe in yoga. But everything else that he said, concerning lifestyle intervention is, is actually like the, the medical world agreeing with what Ellen White gave us a long, long time ago as a dentist. So that's why I thought the video was very important to, to put there. Thank you very much. Um, that's it for me. If anyone else would like to ask, you can go ahead. If not, Pastor, you can say. Yes, hello. Good afternoon. Yes, go ahead. Yes, hi. Um, Pastor, besides um, Foltu, um, herb, is there another herb to help with the um, with grain of the hair? I don't understand the question, please. Is there an herb or a suggestion to um, that will help with gray hair? Oh, yeah, there are many things. Maybe we'll have to do a whole presentation on that one. Okay. Okay, thank you. I'll be waiting for that presentation. You're welcome. Thank you very much. Thank you, everyone, for your question, your comments. And I encourage everyone to be educating himself and start implementing these things in your life slowly. Okay? So we come to the end of today's section. May God bless you and keep you. May God guide you. And always keep in mind God desire your existence. He care for your existence. That's why he offer his own life for you. And let us trust him in everything that he would direct us to the end. So may God bless every one of us. Have a very good afternoon. May God bless your family. May God restore your life. And may God put in you the joy of salvation. All right? So God bless everyone. Have a very good afternoon. Bye-bye.